This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. So I was messing around yesterday and uh, I came up with this kind of cool sounding arpeggio thing from the pentatonic home and I wanted to share it with you. I guess why you might want to learn this thing is because hopefully it should give you a slightly better vision or visualization of the pentatonic scale and two, it's a thing which hopefully could sound quite cool for you. So I'm going to take you first through the concept. So say you've got your D minor kind of box shape. We'll start off with describing the concept in this way. So on this string here, the E string, we're gonna hit our D. And what we're gonna do is kind of alternate up the string. So you want to get the lower note here of the two pentatonic notes. So, and then on the next string, you want the second note. So you get 10, 12, then back to the lower, 10, 12, 10, 30, so you'd get this. And take that concept through the entire pentatonic scale so that you know this is your, kind of your first box, what about your next box? So if we start with the major pentatonic, same idea. Our first note here, the 13th fret, then our second note on the second, 15th, so we don't want the A, we want the 15th, then the lower note, so the 12th, then the higher note, so the 14th, then the lower note, the 13th, and then the higher, the 15th. Okay, then we got another shape here, right? So again, same idea, we're gonna alternate on each string, we're gonna go between the lower, higher, lower, higher, lower, higher. So third fret, fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret. Then we got our next box shape. So lower, fifth fret, higher, eighth fret, Lower 5th fret, higher 8th fret, lower 6th fret, higher 8th. And then lower 8th fret. 8th, 10, 7, 10. 8, 10. So have an experiment with that and what I would try to get some ability to do would be to So you might want to try that sort of thing. Okay, then the idea was that you want to reach for, so this is something similar to what Guthrie is talking about when he talks about sliding into the next shape. Instead of on our first string, so this is kind of, what you're gonna be visualizing, that idea. So if we're in this D minor thing, but what I want you to try to do is drop your first note to the note before from the preceding box. So instead of 
here we'd go. So you'd get a C in the bottom of this. So eighth fret, 12th fret, and then lower, higher, like, the, like we were. So instead of, you'd get. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. I'll show you it in this major shape as well. So from, find your next kind of available note from the pentatonic scale down, which is here, this D, and then play that instead of the first note. Okay, then again for this G one. Our next available note would have been the F. Okay, and then for this A one. Okay, and then we've got one more. So down here. So I think those have a really cool sound. And what you can do if you slide these around, that a try I think you might kind of dig the sound of that um, and you could also modify these as well I guess if you like the sound of that kind of shape you could just you know change and do like the Tim Miller thing where you're keeping the kind of picking pattern and the, the kind of structure of the actual lick the same but just changing the notes like he talks about in his true fire thing with the 212 arpeggios thing, which I think is actually a really great little um, course that you should maybe just have a look at least at the, the teaser for that, because I got a lot out of that. I've watched the free stuff, you know, years ago. Um, now true fire is a sponsor of the channel, so I can mention it um, as well. But yeah, give that a try. Try that. The Tim Miller thing is like the idea of having two, <laughs> One, two, one, two, one, arpeggios. What I'm talking about here is this idea of taking the kind of upper and lower parts of your pentatonic and building arpeggios off of that. And you could modify them, of course. So what I'm doing there, instead of having the A is replacing it with a B flat. Or here you could do the same thing. But yeah, start off with. these kind of little box shaped ones and then try dropping the lowest note. Wait. And there's a really cool one. So you start on that G, and instead of the F, have the E. I think there's a really cool sound and potential there. I'll catch you in another video soon. Patreon will be the place to get the tabs. Also, if you feel like it, check out the Tim Miller arpeggio lesson. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.